Okay, hi everyone. So today we'll be going through. Oh, wait. Uh, before that, let me just. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me just stop. Sh con uh, delete off my <coughs> WhatsApp first. Because it always pop up at the wrong time. <laughs> okay, so. Privacy, privacy. Yeah, it always <laughs> pop up at the wrong, the worst time possible one. Okay, so yeah, uh, today we, guys, uh, we'll be going through the web forms, creating, uh, sorry, uh, web sockets. So yeah, it's basically learning how to um, make a live session where multiple people can come in. Like, like for example, uh, like the Zoom, I, I believe like the Zoom, the whiteboard drawing and all that. Uh, last time I asked Yi Chang, you know, like how, how do we get all that drawing stuff um, to, to pass the information to another person? You know, because if you search for like mouse over event, right? Mouse over JavaScript. <coughs> hey, sorry, not this one. Um, yeah, should be the developer. Yeah, so if you come over to this, uh, you see that there's a lot of information on what uh, event listeners can you put for your mouse, right? However, <coughs> uh, if, if let's say we want to store information, right? Then that comes a pretty tricky part. Hey, okay, this one not here. Hold on, uh, mouse event. Mouse event. Oh no! Yeah, I remember there was like this drawing thing on. There was this drawing um, feature. Let me see if I can find it again. Did mouse event. Hmm. <clears throat> mouse drawing. I think it's this one, it's up. Mm, I think something changed with the documentation. Previously, they, they showed it. I don't know why they didn't have it. Up. So basically, what happened was there was this like a uh, canvas that they showed. And by having the canvas, right, you can actually draw um, items inside your 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 canvas there so it's pretty much just like your the zoom the drawing board things like that yeah so it's it's pretty cool uh however it's not showing here so i think no worries um yeah so the the point of today's one is basically whatever things that you do on one side right the other person can see what's going on on the other side of the screen as well right it's like a live session collaboration yeah so uh today's we'll be going to socket io Right, so socket IO and socket IO is uh, one way that we can connect uh, multiple users together in the same session. Yeah, so yep, let's get into it, get started. So we we'll just run through like right, the whole documentation first for today. Uh, then after that, towards the end, if we can cover uh, fast enough, I'll try to implement that with the other game room, uh, game room codes. Okay, so let's create a new folder, All right? Let's create a new folder and let's uh, call it our web sockets. Web sockets. Uh, so web sockets, and let's open this with uh, open this with code. And let's create a new file, uh, index.js. Let's create app.js. Oh, sorry, it's not supposed to be that. It should be HTML. This one should be HTML. Okay, very nice. So now that we have this, put it up. And oops, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I think better we just call it socket. You know, socket IO. So, to look at this, yeah, getting started, right? So, uh, so okay, are you getting started? How do we start with this? So, first goal is to set up some HTML, and we need to make sure that the Node.js is installed, yeah, and express to this end. So, let's create a package JSON. So, 
we want this. So and program install express. So we need to install this external package first so that our computer has so that our um our web page has uh, what it needs to run it. <laughs> mm. Okay, um yeah, looks good. Let's see, yes, something has a problem here, right? So let's npm audit fix it. Okay, yep, all done. Okay, so once it's done, uh, we're gonna create an index.js file and this is the stuff that we want inside. Okay, so do that. So it requires express app, app is the express.com, okay. Mm, okay, all right, so that's uh, it is using the get, I believe the get function, and this one is uh, listening to it. <clears throat> so quite a few stuff that I also don't really get, but <laughs> let's figure it out along the way. Okay, so express initialize app for the third line four. And this is the route handler we hit our website. So this is basically it helps to redirect the location, right? It redirects the location of the website itself. So you run Node.js, it should do this. Oh, okay. All right, so let's run it. So uh you do npm, npm. Also, oh, node, uh, node uh, app.js. So we need to run the name of the file itself. Okay, so for them, they put it index.js because they label their file as this. First, we call it app.js. So that's why we are running it node app.js instead. Wow. Well, okay, so it's listening already. Okay, well, looks good. Okay, so if you point to your browser, this means it should be running. Hello world. Oh, all right. Yep. Okay, so now it's running already. So far, in that we are calling rest.send and passing in a string. Okay, our code will look very confusing if we place an entire application HTML. So instead, we're going to create HTML instead. Okay, so basically, this is uh, telling us to connect with a HTML file, right? Because uh, here you have all the HTML, <coughs> you can copy this. Uh, and yeah, uh, if we put this whole thing inside JavaScript, it will make it very confusing. So we want to put this inside index here instead. So replace the whole thing. I replace the whole thing. Um, border. If this is what we use inline. Oh, no, 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 oh, yeah, they use this one. Okay, okay. Okay, so um, here we are creating a UL list, right, with a form, and this one is a sending form with a button. Okay, so you restart the process, you can control C, and it should look like this. Okay, so let's save it. No, it doesn't show. Um, Okay, uh, before that, right, let's see, is it linked? No, it's not linked together. Ah, okay. So the linking, right, the linking, we need to do this inside app.js. So this one over here, right? So instead of uh, hello world, now we want to handle the route. We want to redirect it. Um, yeah, I think I prefer to type it out so that I also know what's going on. Okay, so send file. So it's a send file, double dash, the name. Oh, by the way, um, is, uh, do you guys happen to be able to follow this as well? Just watching uh, you do. <laughs> yeah, just watching. <laughs> okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Well, I get it. I get it. So don't worry. Just continue. Okay. Yeah, again, yeah. Just, just in case, uh, in case anyone building it, then uh, uh, different pacing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No worries. So let's take a look. Um, this one is still hello world. Okay, so that means I need to cancel this. Auto C. Then let's run it again. Um. Okay, yeah, so it's uploaded already and 
to the world. Okay, so it has changed a little bit. And yeah, so okay, it's just that we don't know what's going on over here. Okay, <coughs> so there's a sandbar. Okay, very nice. Integrating socket.io. So it's a server that integrates. Okay, so we need to install this. Okay, yep. And this will install the module and in that's index.js. Okay, so previously it has all this. Okay. I want to see what changed. Is the same or not? First four lines are the same. It's this one over here. So they added this one. <coughs> all right. And okay, so they have io.on and server.json. Okay, so this is a new one. Okay, so I think this one is turning it on, turning on the connection. Okay, cool, cool. So let's put that in here. And that has changed is only this one, right? The extra dot online. Press. Okay. All right, then now index the following code. Okay, so we want to link this together. Let's edit. So script source that I will add up js script. Oh wow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I would assume that this is, I think this is an online one. Is it online? Is it available online? I think it's inside your folders. When you run the dependency, it's probably installed. Here. Um, I, I don't have this one, unless they're telling me that they expected me to name it exactly the same way. Right. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll put this one over here first. So this is our script files. Okay. Try opening several tabs and proceed. User connected. Okay. Yeah. So. Jin Yong, this is HTML, is it? Uh, this is HTML and JavaScript. It's okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this one is in. Hello. Use this connected. Hello again. Okay, very nice. So the JavaScript inside the live server is running it. It's Checking it's checking for people that's connected. Okay, so okay, all right. So it will just keep uh it will keep running as long as someone types it in and then you type a uh, user is connected. Okay, so each socket also fire a special disconnect event. Um, then if you refresh the tab several times, you can see it. Oh, okay. But, uh, let me see what happens if I refresh it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so every time I refresh it, right, it is showing that a new user has connected. So yeah, so, this, so that means if I press submit, right, it's actually just causing the thing to kind of re refresh. That's why it's showing connected. Okay, let's, let's put in this one. Socket.io.on. Mm, okay, I think, I think I'll call it out instead of, so that at least I remember it better. The other one is socket that on. Now we want to put it is connect. Connect, and this is a arrow function. And so, user is connected. 
Okay, so when does that happen? Um, so get that on this command. Okay, I believe this is their event listeners, right? So socket and this is their own event listeners. And the moment it has this connect, then it will show this. Okay, so let's save it. And yeah, let's cancel this and let's rerun it again. Okay, use this connected. What happens if I press, if I type something? Okay, so it will. So that means when I refresh it, it will connect and disconnect, connect and disconnect, right? Because of this uh, event listeners, the moment we disconnect, it will display this reading. What happens to the, so I should show over here also. Oh. Interesting. I think this one they're not showing here because the moment you, res you restart the whole thing, then it doesn't work. Okay, wait, let me remove this one first. And .js. Oh yeah, you cannot you cannot keep track on because the whole thing refreshes. Okay, so yeah, this one works so far. Let's continue some more. I'm meeting events. The main idea because behind socket IO is that you can resend and receive any events you want with any data that you want, any objects that can be encoded will do. I need data is about the two. Well, this will have been very nice for my final year project. <laughs> okay, let's make it so that the user type in a message, the server gets a chat message event. So the script section that should now do as a follow. Okay, so var socket.io, var form, input form that is um, okay. So let's try to understand this first. So it's getting the form and the input. And the moment we press submit, we want to display. So admit, admit is a new, this is a new, um, it's a new method. So this is under chat message and it will show the output, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's put it in here. Oh wait, we already have, we already have that. So I'm just going to copy this and put it here. And this one, this a bit. And in index, we want to print out the chat event. So that means it's this one here. I need to put it here. So are you that on when there's a connection? When there is a connection, which is this one. Right. I'm gonna relabel this a bit uh for this connection. Okay, then this one we want to print it out. So instead of console.log this time, we want to show this whole thing. Right. Uh, this is to display, display the chat. This is what uh, this is a chat message event. Chat message event. It's another. Uh, okay. Um, result should show as a following. Okay, so viable that we type here, it should show over here instead. Okay, nice. So let's rerun the code again. Is this connected? Hello. That's a book. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me just zoom this in a bit because I know it's a bit hard to see. So, yeah. Okay. I hope hope that one's a bit easier to look at. And okay. Nice. Nice. Um. Yeah. I think the reason is because <coughs> when we press send, right? The moment we press send, the whole thing gets disconnected. 
So I think we need to turn this off. Save it. Turn. Let's save it. And here, let's run the whole thing again. Listening, user is connected. Testing. All right. Hello. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Now I want to try something. Um, okay. So we are console logging the thing. And we're also logging the messages here. But then I realized that it never shows here one. And I think that's because that's because it's doing the default. That's because it's doing the default action. So it needs message, right? We need to prevent box. Let's prevent the default option to see if it shows anything. Oh, wait. You run this again. What, what do you mean by default options in this case? <laughs> because I, I just want to test and see does the console log show over here also or not? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. It's a bit different on this one. I think your terminal becomes your console in this case. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Why 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 it doesn't work over here? Maybe it has to something to do with uh, the express. Uh, how express what because express is actually a server, right? So, mm. so you basically just connecting the server to your computer. So anything that you console lock is just gonna display on your terminal. This is why I thought like. <laughs> I see. Oh yeah, true. Uh, you have experience with the Express JS before, also, is it? No lah. Just uh, I was looking, reading around the documentations, and it seems like that's the case la. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, yeah. I think we're to towards the end of this short exercise. Okay, then you can start playing around already. Next goal is for us to emit the event from the server to the rest of the users. So in order to send an event to everyone, uh, socket.io gives the io.emit method. We want to send the message to everyone except for a certain emitting socket. We have the broadcast flag for emitting the socket. Well, there's a lot of people. Uh, in, in order to send an event to everyone, we need the emit method. Where do we put this? If we want to send a message to everyone except for a certain, oh, this is when we want a certain guy to get it. In this case, for the sake of simplicity, we'll send to everyone, including the sender. And on the sender, we want to capture, so including the page. So the total client side JavaScript now amounts to this whole thing. And our final product is this. All right, it should show this. Okay, All right, let's, let's work with this then. Okay, so um, I believe this is the one that we want to look at, right? Um, when the event listener is when there's a chat message, we want it to admit the chat message to everyone, including themselves, right? So basically this one, right? And the event listener is here already. And we, instead of just console log, now we want to admit the thing, right? So io.admit. And what do we want to admit? We want to admit that chat message itself. Message itself and followed by the message content, right? Yeah, so this is the content or oh, this passing the argument inside. Okay, now for this one over here, um, 
let's check back the original so you can see the difference. So we have this one already. If the input there, okay, then here we are adding another event listener. Yeah. So it's a event listener switch here. And this looks good. So it will create an item, all right, and after that, it will just keep appending it. Okay, yep, it's good. Let's save this and let's run it again. Okay, see. I'm not working. Oh, my event listener, I think it's not enough. Bar input messages, I need to get the messages as well. Run again. Okay, let's see what went wrong. Form that is an error. E that default. If input the value, so I that I make a message. Okay, this one should be fine. Check message, function, message. And we will run this function itself, which is for item, create element. Hmm. Looks okay. Eh? So the uh, index HTML, maybe, maybe there's uh, <clears throat> the ID for the, what's it called? Oh, there's message here. Yeah. Mm. Then it should work, I guess. So. All right, we should work on this one. Okay, um, I'll save this again. I'll save this again. Let's give it a try again. User is connected. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I see it here. Already. Okay, nice. I think maybe it's just, uh, adding, maybe I didn't save it correctly just now. <laughs> That's why. Hey, awesome. That looks good. Okay, broadcast to a connected user when someone connects on this comment. Okay, time to give this some try. Okay, hi guys. Okay, nice. Huh? Okay, and I, if I duplicate this, right? Okay, duplicate, it will refresh the whole thing. But if I put all three in one go, it should be the same. So, okay, nice, it works. Okay, so everyone is connected at the same time already. Okay, very nice. Okay, so let's see how we can improve it. Add support for nicknames. Don't send the same message to the user. Instead, append the message that way as it was. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think I think maybe we try to explore these ones first <laughs> so they get a better hang of it. So they have all such real time. Nice. Okay, so here we have the main body. Here we have the style and a couple of styling here, which I think we don't need to worry too much. Right, so what we want to focus on is the form part and the details. So input ID is input and there's a button to send it. Okay. So
So what does it mean as to do here? Broadcast a message to connected users when someone connects or disconnects. Okay. Hmm. So that means I need to add another event listener. Right. And this is for this connection. Okay. This one should be under here. And this one should be the whole thing should be under the socket section. Then okay, the moment this one disconnect. Okay, so There's someone else joining us today. <coughs> hey. Hello, hi Chin Tech. Welcome to the session. <laughs> Although we are a bit too most towards the end already. Yeah, but good to have you. Okay. So socket.io uh let's connect. Let's see. Is connected. Oh, interesting. Huh? So if I have two tabs open, then that means okay. What if I have three tabs open then? They have three users coming in. <laughs> they all in one go. It, it automatically detects one, right? Wait. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can jam. No problem. Wow, that's pretty good. But how you how how you how do you know whether it is the same user or different user? Yeah, that one then we need to add some customizations to it already. Oh. Mm. Because it just says that a user is connected, right? Correct, correct. Mm. Mm. That's a very good point actually. Yeah. Um I think one one thing you could do is you could grab the uh the time that was created and then the moment the time if, if the time that's created is different for each one of them, then yeah. uh, you will have a different person. Or I think what we can do is hmm, user connected. That means we need a counter. We need we need something to keep track of them. Yeah, some identity to it. Hmm. Yeah, I think let's uh yeah maybe let, let's let's explore this one then. Uh, we need to have. I think uh, I, I think a loop would be nice. So it's like uh, every time that you have a user, you just add one, and then mm -hmm. like it's just like user one, user two, user three, something like that. So this one over here, um, we need a different counter, right? If I'm not mistaken. So actually, how how do we check if it's a new? Okay. Wait, let, let me think a bit. So socket.io. Actually, right. Uh, let me console not not this socket. Oh. Socket. Oh, okay. It's a lot of information. Oh, by the way, just now I saw someone message. Uh, oh, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, sure thing. Chin take. No worries. Tomorrow's your, your main session, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so tomorrow you get to see the, the rest of your batch mates. Whoa, okay. There's a lot of information here. <laughs> That's exactly the same thing that uh, Yi Chang printed last yesterday, right? I, I think. think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there a time here? 
待てせよぞ I think there's too much things over here. Hard way to understand also. <clears throat> okay, so let's disconnect this. Let's disconnect this. And remove this. Okay. So let me see. Crash this again. Okay, yeah, this one is refresh already. Okay, um, I think I think I'll try to follow this one first. So broadcast a message to connected users when someone connects or disconnect. So this one we want to broadcast. Where would we do that? The event listeners at the moment are all happening here. Is it? Mm. Message, right? I think um it's like the same way you do it more message, but uh but uh, this time instead like every time they leave instead of printing printing on a terminal you print on the message board maybe mm. true and this one it should be under when it disconnect right it should be over here mm. okay um in that case time to flex your dom dom javascript <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Okay, chat message function. Okay, disconnect. This is a set of codes that allows us to put stuff inside. So, um, item link. Okay, a new one and the Text content should be this instead. And we want to extend it. Okay, let's give this a try. Is it document? Yeah, it's appending to the document. Messages. I don't have messages here. I need one bar. It just goes to document. Uh, uh, Selector, read selector, and we want to have the messages. Is the same one? Yes, that should be correct. Okay, let's give it a try. It's so cool, man. Now you can connect them together, and then you, you can see, like, oh, there's a bit of delay also, and if I don't I see that correctly. Yeah, there's a bit of delay. So if I disconnect it, document is not defined. Huh? Interesting. Very interesting. It's not detecting the document is not defined. Uh, is it because I put it in the wrong side? Picture? I wonder if I could put this on the other side instead. And so it's on. Wait, uh, it is the document is not defined. Use this disconnected and the user. Add another user. The users is in. When I disconnect, sure we got error. The error is because here it does not work. Why messages for document that query selector? Interesting. Uh, so the thing that this one cannot. Not this, uh. Hey, but then this one, 
Oh, okay, wait. That means uh, that means I, I think this time also have a problem. Uh. Hmm. Maybe the document that we get, right, we need to get it over here instead. Oh. Oh yeah, because the app app.js is not uh it's not it's connect linking to the yeah. index. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, if I connect it, right, then that doesn't mean that the red, all this will run by itself, right? It shouldn't be. It's just that it should be able to, okay, okay. You know what, let, let's, let's just grab it first. Script source is equals to, yes, hopefully it doesn't. Okay. And this one, let's go here, save it. One user is in, two users in, two only. Okay. And then if I close this, our messages is not defined. Why? Oh, yeah. Then I save it correctly. Um. Let's let's create three of this one. Duplicate, okay, duplicate, duplicate. Okay, we got four of them. Four of them inside. And then this one. No, it's not it's still not working. Unless this is um, Express JS stuff, let's run this again. Well, that's kind of weird because since you can actually message, it should, it should be able to, it should, it's very able to receive your typing message, but it doesn't receive anything mm -hmm. about the user. Action. I think uh, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, right? All this all this referencing stuff, right? It is not doable on this side. I, I don't know why it's this, right? But I think it could be the Express.js. And because it's Express.js, right, it works a little bit different. But then how does it linking the message to MSG uh, the on the top? Because previously all the ones that are linking it. Okay, this is the original one, right? Yeah. The original one was actually over here. All the submission, all the get item from here is all from here actually. Okay. Oh uh, I think I think you need the emit emit thing thing, I don't know. Like the emit the dot socket dot in emit. Mm. Maybe like I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay, I need to emit it in order to send an event to everyone. Is use io dot emit method. Mm. Yeah, um, if you want to send a as as for certain, then we use broadcast. Okay, so broadcast is I want to choose everyone except for one guy. That kind of thing, right? It's a okay. select. Then if it is. Sending to everyone that is admit and admit would be this one over here, All right? Yeah. Uh, and previously, it didn't work because we didn't use admit. Is that right? I think so. Uh, hmm. However, wait up. So the chat message. Okay, that's definitely quite some few things we don't understand here. Uh, it admits the chat message, and where is it getting the chat message from? It's getting from the input value. Uh, okay, let's see. Chat message. Okay, on chat message. I think it's getting it from here. It's getting from here, right? Yeah. With our chat message. message. This is the content. The content comes in from here. Console the log and then it admits it. Then it admits this message. And move this message out. Okay, what happens if I remove this line? And if 
this is if this is passing the thing to the index, right? That means it shouldn't put anymore. Use this connected. Okay. So testing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 I'm starting to get it. So this is the guy that's sending it out as chat message. What happens if I change this to chat two? Is it? So that means now I want to. I'm receiving set chat two instead and socket on chat two. Okay. It's connected. I think it's specifically supposed to be chat. I thought this is like a local storage now, I think. No, it's not. Okay. So this one, let's remove chat. I think you did not define the socket on chat message just now. Yeah, I think you were missing out one. Oh, this one is it? This one. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, okay, okay. I feel chat message is something, okay. You, you know like how we have like event listener and then after that the event that listener yeah, the other you have like mouse up particularly like mm -hmm. just like that mm -hmm. I feel it is it is the preset this one is preset but anyway we, we try it out first <laughs> okay so chat two Check two. Ah, it's the fun part, right? Figuring this kind of stuff out. Breaking things up. I'm trying yeah. to speak up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Oh I think I think it's uh, it's supposed to be and everyone cannot change. Yeah. Right, so at least now we know it doesn't work. Okay. So let's revert back. Let's make sure it works first. Okay. So now when I disconnect, I need to admit this. Okay. And I'm emitting a chat message also. And disconnect, I should be grabbing the info. Okay. But then I'm not pass, I'm not supposed to I'm not supposed to pass something? No, I'm not. No, I'm not supposed to pass anything. I'm supposed to pass out a message and this message will be uh yes. okay. Um I put this back. One hey, one guy only. Oh, oh, okay, there's a time delay. Okay. Oops. Oh, okay, let's go. Nice. Nice. Right, so Good it's, the, it's the admit part. <laughs> yeah, it's the admit command that we need to play around with. Okay, then let's let's experiment with uh crowd names so uh at uh at counter id i think that counter like that counter equal to zero okay then after that it it disconnects guys uh person let's let's change this to a bad thing instead person some counter uh let's see if we can keep tabs of them should be able to this one should, should be able to like then counter oh. so this funny okay. again Okay, 
and if I disconnect, do disconnect. Person one disconnect. Oh, okay, very nice. Yeah, it works. Okay, so I guess in that sense, we managed to keep track of the users already. <coughs> this is a <laughs> super basic way, super basic way. Okay, nice. Um, so I managed to broadcast to connected user when someone connects or disconnects. Um, when someone connects or disconnects, so let's just put that, I use that message. The moment someone connects, it should be over here. Right, so instead of cons just console, instead of just this, now we need to say, uh, Oh wow, Pokemon has, has appeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a wow user has connected. <laughs> a wow user has appeared. <laughs> I think Pokemon, uh, Pokemon makes it more fun. <laughs> yeah, well, Pokemon has appeared. Okay. Well, Pokemon has appeared. Well, Pokemon has appeared. Eh? Oh, it runs one time only. Oh. Oh, okay. This one, this one makes sense. This one makes sense. It's like WhatsApp, I go inside, and then after that, a new user has joined in, which is yourself, but then the other guys can keep track of what's going on. Right. So the first guy will see all three. Second guy will see this one. And yeah, last guy will see himself only. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. And then if I disconnect, this one person zero to disconnect, person one has disconnected. Nice. Okay. Then, uh, all right. Add a support for nicknames. Mm. Okay. Let's, let's try this one. Then after that, we'll end for today. Uh, Add support for nicknames. How do we do this? So, prompt. Uh, I don't know if it works. Uh, like, uh, does it? Is it possible to prompt the user to enter a nickname? And then from at, at the start of the thing, right? Yeah. Mm, okay. So before the. Uh, at the start itself, it should prompt. Yeah, user connected. Uh, so maybe it's before that console got long. I didn't talk. Pokemon name. Let's go. <laughs> Prompt. Uh, and the. Uh, Pokemon. The only question is whether I put it on this side or I put, do I put it on the other side? Try this one first, maybe, and then see if it actually prompt you to. Oh, and I, I think what we can do is we can do a console log also. But since the server is on this side, right, most probably it will be showing on the server. Yeah, on the, what's it called? The live servers. Hey, is it? No, no, the visual code only, visual studio code. Uh, is okay. Um, on it. Okay, push this. Oh, come have error one. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I think it doesn't work on this side. I need to put it to the other side instead. Hmm. Because this is the this is the site with all the HTML included. So uh, I believe this one should be as you can getting to get more me. Uh, and let's save this. We run it again. Okay. Uh, Bob or so. Bob or 
Pokemon has appeared. Nice. And it should console log over here. New Pokemon is Bulbasaur. Yep. Okay. So um, when we prompt them, we want to save their name, right? I uh, want to save their name. I'm going to put in uh, name here. Okay. So what we want is we want to console.log it one time. And for that, we need a socket.admit. Yeah, we need a socket.admit. Okay, here, chat message, and we want to put the Pokemon name. Right, uh, so this would be. Um, Let's join the chat. Let's again. Um. Okay, um, um, and the Pokemon Chimander has appeared. If I duplicate this, uh, this one should be Pikachu. Pokemon Pikachu has appeared. Yep, it shows that as well. And oh, actually, you can turn this to you can turn this to a game actually. <laughs> yeah, like like uh, try to catch and then put a randomizer inside. And then see if you can manage to capture the Pokemon or not. Like a text text based Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. And then like you you story and so, so like you you keep trying until you capture it and then there'll be like a timer. Oh my gosh, that'll be that'll be so cool. Okay, yeah. Maybe you can put this uh, for upcoming project. Okay, so this is uh yeah, this is uh Red Data. Okay, very nice. This one. This one. Oh, interesting. I think this one got disconnected somehow. I don't know why. Mm, okay. Yep. I think uh looks good. Uh, we managed to put in for nicknames. Uh, but how to store it? How to make sure that it is unique to one user itself? Okay. Let me just experiment real quick. The last one. Um. So, this one, the chat message text content should be okay. Should be. A user okay. Um, this is this is name. Okay. Content, let's say, oh, okay. No, we shouldn't do this, we should do this instead. Curly bracket, follow sign curly bracket. Okay, so um, this is chat message. The on something, yeah, give this a shot. See, three users connected all in one go. Um, let's refresh this. Uh, Pichu, this one, uh, Pikachu, and this one, Raichu. Okay, so all of these that have joined the chat. Okay, Pichu said, Pichu said, Pichu said. Everyone is Pichu on this one. So testing. Pichu said testing. Pichu, Pikachu said testing. Oh, that's not right. That's not right. Yeah. Okay. This one I think needs some more. This one needs some testing to look into. <laughs> okay. All right. So it just save it for that particular browser, but it cannot get data from the other friends at all. Yeah. So this one need to look into how to pass around the data you need to each other. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think uh, that one we can leave for next time. Oh, but today, yeah, it was pretty fun exploring this actually. <laughs> okay. So thanks everyone. Uh, 
Uh, we shall stop the recording. Okay. Good job, good job.